All right, folks, so we're going to take a look at the bench between the i7-9700K and the i7-10700K. And the uh, question for you all will be, you know, whether uh, to spend your money and upgrade, right? Um, so let's get into it. Uh, Price-wise, you see the cheapest price for an i7-9700K is 355 and... Um, 10700K is 400. Though, uh, if you go over to Newegg, and I'll make another video uh, showing that, the price for it is not listed. So, um, I will tell you what is on Newegg for prices right now. You can see the 10900K. 529, of course it's out of stock. The i5-10400, which is 194. And that is really all for the uh, tension. So not a lot of selection out there. Of course, the motherboards are going to be ridiculously expensive. Uh, to expect to spend at least $300 or in that vicinity to get a Z490 motherboard. All right, so enough of that. Um, the main thing you'll notice right off the bat is uh, tension has uh, more threads, and it's uh, higher frequency. Obviously, Comet Lake versus Coffee Lake, and it's going to be out soon. So um, how does it stack up? The... Uh, Speed ranking puts it at third, which is, you know, pretty awesome. So if you were thinking about getting a an i9 9900K, uh, you might want to think twice and hold off. Now, part of me almost feels like this new processor is is, uh, is the i9 9900K, but, uh, you know, due to manufacturing processes, it's uh, obviously different. Uh, but even the uh, the i9 is uh, not quite as fast according to uh, this. Now, benchmarks, you see there's only one user benchmark. Who knows how accurate that is? Um, the mere fact that it's on here is pretty impressive. Now, single cores, this is, uh, this is really high. Now, what we don't know from this is if this person actually overclocked it uh, that would be interesting to find out. You see, uh, this is slightly better, right? Um, and all the other scores, you know, really uh, not too big a difference. It's, uh, let's see what the 64 core, when we we'll really get into multi-core. So right here, this thing is chugging along, right? That is that is really impressive. That's an i9, i9 performance. So um, I have made comments before that I, I figured this new 10th gen i7 would be similar uh, to the current i9, and uh, there is no doubt that it has got a lot of similarities. Um, definitely better set up to compete with AMD. Uh, you know, from multi-core standpoint, it's still not up there with the Ryzen 9, but... Uh, you know, all the other, uh, the chips underneath the Ryzen 9, uh, this thing should devastate it in every category. Um, and definitely in gaming, this will uh, be better than the Ryzen 9. So that's all I have for this video, folks. Hopefully you got something out of it. Thanks for checking it out. Please like, please subscribe.